Hey guys, and thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, welcome. If you are returning, it's a new channel, so I know some of you kind of subscribed right away, so thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you're coming over from my main channel, thank you for your support. Um, I'm Melissa, and this is my new channel, Melissa Hauls It All, and this is just exactly that. I like to haul things. I like to show you guys stuff in the stores, um, stuff that I find online, review things, which I'm going to have a few reviews coming up here soon for just some stuff that I found. I'm like, hmm, some I like, some I don't. Some are great, mm, some are okay. So I'm going to do some of those. I've got quite a few videos coming up. My next few videos after the this Dollar Tree haul that I have now um, they're going to be thrift hauls because I have a ton of stuff that I want to show you guys. And if you want to see what I do with all the stuff that I buy or some of the stuff that I buy, check out my main channel. I'll have all that information in my description box below. And I was actually going to separate these two videos, but I think I'm just going to put them together and make one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I figure out how I kind of do this. But if I'm going to do this one separate, this is going to be a craft haul in it, you know, by itself. Then I just recorded a different haul that had everything else that I found. And that's all newer stuff that I just purchased recently. So, you know, you should be able to find them ideally. But again, welcome. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell. Check me out on Instagram. It's Melissa Makes It DIY over there. My main channel. All that information will be in my description box. And on to the haul now. So, First thing that I bought, and I hate when, <clears throat> when I get these stickers, and then they put them in the bag, and they bend. It really annoys me. Um, but anyway, so this one says be happy, and I'm not really into the whole bee thing, but I really, I don't know, I just like the flowers. It was just cute. So I got two of these. I'll probably be giving one away, and I don't know if I will or not, because they're kind of messed up now, but we'll see. If I can fix it somehow... I'll probably give one of these away. And then I, oh, that's the back. Then I found the Our Father prayer. I really love this. Um, I hate that it's so long. So I don't know if I, I might have to like cut it up and do something. Or maybe I'll just put it on a wall somewhere. I don't know. We'll see what I do with it. But I may end up like cutting it up and kind of piecing it together differently. But it has all different fonts on it. So I just like that. So I got that. Then I found eh, I found these brass wreath rings. You get three of them for a dollar. Three different sizes. And I thought that was a great, great deal. Because usually, you know, you find the one. But I thought that was great. And then, you know, the fact that they're not black like the natural or the green. That green is annoying. But so I got that one. And I found a couple more of these wheel, uh, yeah, the bicycle wheels, re, re, bleh, I can't talk, the bicycle wheel wreath ring. Say that five times fast. Because <laughs> um, I did on my main channel make a Ferris wheel out of just one because it was part of a swap and I only had the one at the time. But I want to make a different Ferris wheel and make it the way that I wanted to initially. So I'm glad that I was able to find two more of these. And they had a they had a bunch of them. I only grabbed the two though. Usually, you know, when I find stuff like that, it's just like one. And then I found some more of these wood planks. Whether it's a great deal or not, probably not. But with the price of wood and whatnot, I thought this was a good deal. And I really liked that knot. I know some people would probably not get it because of that. But I like that little knot and I think it would be good for like a rustic piece. So I grabbed two more of those and let's see here. What else did I get? I got some more cork adhesive. I'll be working on a project soon and I just wanted to make sure that I had enough of those. And this is new. This is Tulip brand. It is fashion glitter iron on transfer sheets. You get four of them and they're actually to me like fall colors you got red green this is like a navy blue I don't know if you can really tell on camera but that's like a navy blue 
and then your gold. So you get four sheets and they are like an eight and a half by 11 sheet, give or take. I get, uh, yeah, like an eight and a half by 11, just based on me looking at it. So you get those. I only got the one because I don't really like glitter, but my daughter does. So we'll see. <laughs> then I got four of these cutting mats because I want to make a bigger one and I might actually grab a few more. I want to make a bigger cutting mat um so I think I might actually get more because I didn't even really think to put them together you know so I think I'm gonna get like maybe two more just so I have a decent sized cutting mat so I got those because cutting mats are expensive so yeah Ugh. I don't like that sound okay so then I got um these chalkboard stickers. I like these because you can cut them down. And I think you get two sheets. Yeah, you get two sheets of these. I think that's a good deal. And it works pretty well. I mean, it's it doesn't erase very well when you use it as chalk. But I got a couple of projects that I have coming up that I want to use these for. So I got two of those. And I got another one of these mixing tools. And you know what? I'm going to open one up because... I heard people asking whether they were silicone or plastic, and honestly, I don't know. Um, I almost feel like, it almost feels like it's, like these are silicone, the little mixing things are, this one's kind of hard. These are silicone, it feels like. This almost feels like it's silicone covered plastic, maybe? kind of hard but you can feel like the silicone in there if that makes sense so for those of you who are asking it feels like silicone but it's a little bit harder like you know but the inside of it feels like silicone so for those who asked that's what it looks like and that's what it feels like then I got a couple of these because I have a project in mind for these and I had a bunch of them, but I dropped them. So, <laughs> so those broke. So I, you know, got a couple more. And then we had quite a few of these metal pieces or these galvanized pieces. Sorry, I thought my son woke up. Um, so I got a couple more of these little bottle caps. And they're actually small. Oh, he did wake up. Just a second, guys. All right, so we have a little bit of company now, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up anyway. So like I said, I got these. They're a lot smaller than they look online. I mean, or like when I saw other people hauling them. They're very... Sorry. Uh, they're very thin. Micah, Micah, please. So I got a few of those just because I thought I could make something with them. And then I got this little mason jar galvanized piece and another one of these just because I like to use these for different things so I grabbed one of those another one then I grabbed some more uh, floral moss I usually like to get reindeer moss because this is a little bit um, I don't know it's dry and I don't really like it it's messy but it was nice and green, and it was a big bag. You you know, recently they've been giving like the little tiny bags, so I just grabbed one of those. Then they had these little trucks. I love trucks, so truck. I got, yeah, truck. <laughs> so I got two of these. One of them has the, Go. like the barrier. Go. And then, Car. Yes, Car. it's a truck. Car. No, this is a truck. A wheel. A wheel yes that's a wheel so <laughs> so I just got the two I probably should have grabbed more but I mean really I can probably you can probably just take the middle piece off and then you can have two of them that's what I've done with the lights before like the ones that have the lights in the middle I just separate them and then I end up with two pieces so I got those then I got some uh, what did I get I got some yarn so they had a bunch of different yarn now, I don't, oh no, this is not a mummy. <laughs> so, um, I don't use yarn a lot, and I don't know what worsted yarn is, 
but I like the color. So I got that one. And then this one is cotton. Just cotton. And it actually feels like uh, Baker's Twine. So that's why I got this one. And I probably should have gotten another one of these two. Did I? No. I should have gotten another one. But I just got the one. It's literally just like the ones that you get from Dollar Tree with like the different colors. And they had different colors. I just got that one. Then I got another one of these. And if, if you know what worsted yarn is, whoever, anybody who, you know, uses yarn... Let me know what that is because I have no idea. And what, you know, what the difference is from just like regular yarn. I don't know. But I saw somebody and I'm if I can remember who it was, uh, I'll post it down below. But I can't remember off the top of my head. They made like little teddy bears and stuff out of it. Now I know how to make like the little uh, balls, the little fuzzy balls. I know how to make those and that's pretty much what she did and then she just kind of shaped them up and added pieces to it so I was thinking about doing something like that because I just liked how they looked. so I got those to try it out and see then I got another one of these this is not new these came out maybe last year but I cannot find the top to mine so um, I bought another one so, yeah, I just got another one. They come in, like, green, red, yellow, and blue, I think. So, I got that one. Then I got these little storage... I'm sorry about that. These little storage containers. Um, they're all completely metal. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But I got them just in case. Because I, I remember I wanted some a while back, and I couldn't find any. And I don't remember what I ended up using instead of those, but... I just wanted to have them on hand just in case. So then the next thing ugh, that I got were all of these different color glues. Now, if you're on, if you're from my main channel, I was really wanting the yellow glue when I did my lemonade stand. And if you don't, if you're not part of my main channel, be sure to check that out. And I'll put the link to my little mini lemonade stand. I needed the yellow for it and I could not find it anywhere and then like last week I went to Dollar Tree and they had all the colors so I just bought one of each just in case so I can have it on hand and that's that then I bought another shovel I buy them I try to get one every time I go sometimes I forget um, I like using these instead of plungers because underneath once you take that little screw out of there it's a straight edge. There's no tr thread on it. So, or tread. There's no tread on it. So you don't have to worry about cutting that. You don't lose that inch and a half or whatever. So you have a complete dowel rod. And it's, you know, good wood. I love all the, you know, when you stain it, the wood grain comes out really nice. And you don't have, like I said, you don't lose that little bit. And you don't have that weird tread at the bottom. So if you find these, grab these. Grab them now because they'll be gone soon. So grab as many as you can. Leave me some. And then I got uh, two more of these faux leather packs. I only got the two. They had just stocked up, so they had all of them. And they had white and uh, I don't remember what the other color they have. Maybe gray, blue. I think it was blue. But anyway, so they had all of them out. I just grabbed one of each. Um, just, you know, they work well for crafts. And if you have a Cricut... I don't know if these work in the Cricut or not. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. I've never tried it in my Cricut. I just usually cut it and use it like that. So I got, I actually got two of these. I ended up using the other ones already. But I like these. I make handles out of them. Uh, stuff like that for my minis. And I was running out. So I just got another pack. I got a pack of white ones as well. But I already opened that up. So that's that and then oof, then I got okay so this is probably well not probably this is not a great deal okay. for a dollar because oh, obviously wait. you got that big piece no. and just to kind of compare here <laughs> obviously not a very good deal but I just got them to show you guys and you know they're useful they're just a little bit wider than like a paint stick and I don't know, I don't know how long they are. I should have measured it, but I didn't. 
just a few inches wide. So, I mean, like I said, not a great deal, but just kind of cute that they already have the hanger on them so you can make a cute little sign or whatever. So I just got those. And then I got one of each of these plaques. These are pretty decent and they're really thick. So that's a good deal. And you can make cute little stands with this, you know, with these. Obviously make signs or anything like that. Then I got this one with a little beveled edge there and the oval one. And I, those are the only like shapes that I saw. So if there were any other ones, let me know. But those are the only ones that I saw. And just a few more things and then I'm done. So I got these cute little stones. And these were new. I've never seen um, this like color pack before. I just thought the colors were nice. And I figured they'd be kind of cool to just have on hand. So I grabbed those. And it is a... 14 ounce bag so it's I mean it's the same size as the other ones pretty much but just the colors I mean it has even this cute little like marble I mean they're just cute bright colors so I got one of those sorry for the noise that was odd and then I got one of these I wish I would have gotten another one because now I'm thinking of a project and I need another one and oftentimes when you go back you know they're gone you can always take this off take the twine off cover the hole up with some spackle or wood you know anything like that wood filler and then you have a nice little disc that you can use for all mm. kinds of stuff and I got two of these these are really small um it's a little tote bag really small I mean they're uh oh let's see my bag oh here it is so in comparison to like the regular you know bag here but I just thought it'd be cute for my daughter, you know, to decorate. And then she'd have a cute little bag to put her little craft supplies in. And so I got two just in case she wanted to do one for a friend or something like that. What I actually had in mind, and you can tie-dye these. That would work too. So that's an option. I was thinking about using that glitter uh, heat transfer stuff. Maybe let her make a design and we can get that on there. Put her name or something like that. And that is it, guys. That is all for my craft haul. It was pretty short. I think I got some good stuff, though. And, um, again, if you're new, thank you so much for watching. Again, please be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. And let me know down in the description again. I think I asked something earlier, and I can't remember what it was now. Oh, about the yarn. And then I asked on my other video... I'm going to ask on this one as well. Let me know what type of haul videos you want me to do. Do you want me to just do like a general Dollar Tree haul? Or do you like this kind of more broken down into like departments? Or I don't know how you want to call it. But like broken down into crafts. And then, you know, home goods. Or I want to do one on like journaling. Uh planner supplies that I get from Dollar Tree so just let me know if that's something you'd be interested or, or if you know anything else that you're interested any other types of hauls I know I have a few thrift hauls coming up so yeah just let me know and that's it for now and until next time guys be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye